Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Twitch chat, and welcome back to Let Us Play. I'm your host, Father Evan. It's good to be back with y'all today. We're diving back into Chance of Sonar, going to do more uh, translation. Um, but first, I want to shout out and thank you to my mom. She sent me new headphones. She saw how bad the old ones were on stream. I was like, no, nope, you need new ones. But she actually managed to find the exact same model. So for comparison, there's the new ones. You can tell these are the old ones, but these used to be the same color. I had these in college. Like, I've had them that long. Like, look at the difference in the foam on the top. It is wild seeing uh, the ravages of time compared. It's so weird having headphones that are, like, actually fully cupping around the ear and, like, blocking outside external sound. It's nice. Don't get me wrong, but... You get used to something. But yeah, we're going to dive back on into more Chance of Sonar. So we had completed the first area, the Pilgrims. Now we're in the Warrior section. And we had come across this as a, a bit of a Rosetta Stone. Because uh, we know the inside language. That's the Pilgrim one. So this one helped us decode uh, Warrior, their, their negative. Uh, but what's also interesting is it helped us see the multiple. That the first language does Warrior, Warrior for Warriors. And then Twitch is still showing two screens after ads and the one above chat is slightly ahead lol. Uh. Uh. Unfortunately, also good to see Happy Sonic. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do anything on that end. I think that's going to be on a U end thing. But we love Twitch. Hello? Then why are you telling me I can do something with the pillar? If you're just gonna shrug at it, is that... Helpful there, my dude. No idea what that is. Now, unfortunately, I think if I go down here, they just attack me. Something warriors. Warriors something. I guess warriors do lots of things, apparently. I can't complain about the double father Evan. Well, so long as you're okay with it. Oh, nope, nope, no, you didn't see me. I'm sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, cheeky, breaky. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. came in. Maybe there's another way back here that I didn't see. Hey, Brayherd, good to see you. Glad you're going to try this game out. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Not as sneaky as I thought. Yeah. I had the cheeky, but not the breaky.
Okay, that just leads me back to here. Which is not terribly helpful. to be sneaky to be cheeky breaky yeah i mean you're not wrong i feel like i haven't played this game in like weeks even though it's only I can pick up the spear. Aha! I have a spear. I have a pointy stick. Fear me. Fear my pointy stick. No, I said I have a pointy stick. I thought if I had a pointy stick, it could be one of you. Maybe I can use the stick to break this column. That is a powerful spear to work as that uh, fulcrum. But they have a banana. Yes. Oh, look at them all marching down there. Warriors, stop. March. So that one is stop. And then we had figured out this is multiple. Okay, wait, go pass, plural. That's how they want to define it. But I'm do I do like that they accept the uh, broad definitions. Camera angles in this game are so cinematic. Like, look at this. You got the lizard up there. You got this great spiral staircase. The lanterns. I'm thinking that symbol might be God. Warrior something something. Ooh, hamster wheel. That's all I've wanted in life. A giant hamster wheel. I feel like treadmill companies are really missing out on some, uh, some prime money there. Ooh. Warrior something... Hmm. Probably something about music? Because we know from the previous language there is a word for music. Hmm. 
I'm beginning to think this symbol's God, and I don't know what this one is, except maybe like home or barracks. Because there's the symbol on the outside of the building. Daycares. They can use the energy to provide the free care. There you go! Okay, so it's giving me all three inscriptions. You know, given the shape of that third sigil, um, and the people in the image, and the pilgrims, I'm beginning to think this means pilgrim. So there's warrior. I thought one of these was pilgrim. Oh well. Huh. Well. So again, I think this is music. Because it's on the statue with the with the loot. Uh, this one's probably protect on the left here. Penguino. How goes the scenario enchanting? Quite good. Quite good. I feel like... Uh, I mean, we got one page of words done already today. So this word on the left is clearly protect. And I think that might be the bottom left middle one. the Where it says warrior something pilgrim. We did find a pointy stick, and then we immediately threw it away so we could heave a column. Protesi. He protec. I wonder how this game handles... Um... So what's this third symbol? Got to do with these demons. Have we confirmed any new translations? Yeah, we got um, the word for weight, go, and plural correct in... Uh, the warrior language. And we currently have these, it's etchings, there's a big old statue here. Oh, I need to wind it up. I don't think it is protect. Because those... Those statues are facing outward. In that image. I hadn't realized that at first. So I do think that this is demon. Um... I don't think this is protect. I think this is attack. But it's also not that word. Does Sonar do Gregorian, Mozarabic, Byzantine, or Zinimeni? I don't know what that last one is, Brayherd. What is that one? Zinimeni. I feel like each... I feel like the pilgrims are probably doing some Gregorian. I feel like the... Uh... The warriors might be doing a little Mozarabic, uh, and whoever is last is, gets the Byzantine by process of elimination, I guess. Um, 
So I guess protect would be this symbol because they're upholding and protecting God. Nope. Zinamini is Russian style. Oh, interesting. Okay, I did not know that. Um, I feel like if I know some, uh, verb order... Because I'm, I'm basing this on an English system. Well, I guess this helps. Multiple warriors. Well, no, that doesn't... That doesn't have an object! I need to know how the warriors place their objects. Is it before or after the verb? Warriors March. Is this Patapun? Pata 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 Pun. I want to take another look at this shield. So it looks like the warriors do follow a uh, similar verb structure. Because it's multiple warrior, not uh, like death. Death like multiple warrior. Uh, anyway, today is the Feast of St. Athanasius. Uh, if you've never read his book, Cur Deus Homo, or Why God Became Man, uh, it's a great book. It's only about 100 pages, but it's really rich in its theology. Uh, he defended the humanity and divinity of Christ in a time uh, when the political powers were more inclined to an Arian view that Christ was not fully divine. Uh, and they exiled him multiple times. And he still didn't stop. And I appreciate that kind of tenacity. I tied it into uh, the gospel as uh, I remain in you, remain in my love. And that was how Athanasius remained in God's love, was upholding the truth of God. Is that the Latin name for on the incarnation? Yeah, Cur Deus Homo is the generic. Anytime we talk about um, on the incarnation or why God became man, we just use the title Cur Deus Homo. Okay. So... What if this one's like stop? We already have a halt though, so I that doesn't really work for me. Oh yeah, the Life of Saint Anthony is a really good book too. By Athanasius. Um, hagiography slash biography. Hey, Empty Jacob. Good to see you. Uh, language, language, language. What are you? I want to see the um, the music thing again. So I was noticing, though, that in the statue here, 
He is the the warrior is holding his hand up, like in the same way. In this picture here. Probably means it is this verb, but what is this verb? Leader? I don't think so. It's because, like in this, it, he the hand is turning the demons away. Protector? Uh, it's got to be a verb, though. I think shielding would be too specific. This game does help you in that regard um i'm trying to look for visual similarities now because all these verbs tend to be diamonds it's looking like because like even go and wait come to a uh point in the bottom and love and like uh so that's probably going to help us find out what something's a verb later on you're helping you're, you're trying so that's you know that's enough um and sometimes these pictures themselves can be a bit obfuscated as we saw like the guy making the muse like like uh the pot in the previous one Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one, like this, this was the verb to make and create, but we, at first it looked like pot. Um, your Thursdays are usually so packed I can't pay attention. Flex your linguistics degree. I don't know if that's good or a bad thing. <laughs> Um, gosh. And I feel like I need one more piece of information, but I don't know where else to go. Oh, wait, I see a door. I have not been through this door. Oh dear. Gonna have to do all sorts of sneaking. Well, I appreciate it being in reserve, but uh, it can stay there for now because we found the door. We found the piece of information we were lacking. Oh, no. I think I see what I need to do here. Go across while they're distracted. I feel like just ringing this is going to be a bad idea. Let's find out. Ah.
<laughs> you nerds fell for it. Turns out, it was a great idea. Uh, lift something, lift something, something. You know, mu it could be that music lift. You nerds fell for it, says the guy playing the linguistics game. I don't know what you're talking about, Sub Zero. <laughs> Warrior something, the cart. Um, lift. I wish I could re see what they said. That would actually, like, I need to compare these. gonna say this is box and I think this is big because he's the only one who is language more of a reflection of how one views the world or does language impact uh, way one views the world I realize the correct answer is both well you spoiled it you spoiled it, but you are, in fact, correct. I, I do think it's both, because I think language is both uh, obviously something we receive. It's a cultural reality. Um, you know, the fact that we receive, you know, in North, in America, Canada, parts of Europe, receive English has a cultural impact on how we view certain things um, and, and ramifications therein. But also the way we choose to use our words, as we all know, words have meaning. Words have incredible meaning and, and what we choose to do with them. And I think that's a really powerful thing in, in prayer is that, you know, what words we choose to use, how we choose to use them can have such a role. Um, so, yeah, I think language is this great. It is both a mirror and uh, what would be something good outwardly focused? I don't know. But, yeah, no, great, great comment. Yeah. Uh, so maybe this is small. Which has two L's. And that would make sense that big and small are inverted the same sigil. This, he's saying, war, uh, go to the cart, I guess. English should have a word for goat meat, by the way. Um, oh, wow. Drop is very similar to not. That's, that's what tripped me up, is I thought it was him saying not implied a
um, certain uh, verb, like an opposite of the action you have already received. Nope, nothing that fancy. And then... So this is push, which is on the um, other one. Goat meat effectively has an effectively existing English reality, therefore it is othered and people consume it as well. Yes. And those people are wrong because goat is fantastic and tastes great. Uh, but anyway, that tells us that this is not, that the left sigil here is not push. It's probably what I'm thinking of as uphold or defend. Oh, the warriors carry God. Okay, that makes sense. So I am looking for more details. So I do think demon, I still think that works. But I don't, I may not have the word for defend yet, actually. <laughs> Where are Miguel, Miguel, and Kevin? <laughs> this is not 321 Space Penguins. You feel that's a bit much? After all, we have no word for chicken meat. Poultry. We do have a meat word for that, Sub-Zero. <gasps> Goat biryani. Ooh. Use beef versus cow and mutton versus sheep is a relic of linguistics classified. I mean, yes, there like that is a reality too. Like that's that does but that doesn't necessarily negate the other uh reality. Um because we do have a, a habit of othering our um, certain meats and saying like that's that's ew, that's gross that's weird you know like that culturally is a reality and I think part of that is is language not all of it not all of it but and I think part of that in and of itself is probably also tied to uh, um, class differences. When in doubt, blame the Normans. Thanks, Norm. They ruined France, then England. Oh. I don't know. I think England ruined itself. Oh, panic, 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 okay. Darn complex legal structure and ability to wage war. Yeah, how dare they. Okay, I'm definitely going to need this up. To sneak past that guy. Definitely wants me to do something with these red boxes. Which tells me I probably need it on this. Oh, you know what? I'm. I'm building a wall to sneak behind.
Okay, so small, big. Don't have a word yet for bottle. Oh wait, yes I do. It's there on the wall. I didn't even def You don't have to define them to get it right? I, d I never typed anything in to define bottle, and it was like, oh, sure, here you go. This changes everything. Chicken was chicken, but others, you don't eat whole. The animal cow was cooked to beef. The official USDA approved word for goat meat is cheval, but it's never caught on. Well, that's because it sounds French. Your favorite historical figures, who's also did a big project in college on was Harald Haradra Varangian warrior who became king of Norway and other and was the other guy in the succession war along with Normans and the Anglo-Saxons and in addition to using mutton to refer to goat a lot of India called water buffalo beef the more you know okay so this has definitely got to be a missing verb on the left here that we just don't have yet Or... Okay, that's not what I thought at all. Warriors protect the chosen. Warrior pushes back the impure. Okay, that's not what I would have done, but okay. Demon impure, I'll buy. But chosen? That's not what I was getting there. This one I was like, oh. Musician, because he has an instrument. Well, we solved it, though. I have solved... No, 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 no. You don't see me. Or you see the Bardic people is chosen by God. No, no, no. Oh. Are you complaining that you're winning? I'm complaining that I'm winning wrong. It feels like cheating. The Bardic people are chosen by God. Quick, someone tell Halcyon Ward and Bree. I, I prefer the term failing upward. That's how you feel about digital board game you kept winning, but was always angry playing. <laughs> what game was that, Gale? Was I there? Was I playing that with you? Surely you're not talking about Billion Road. Okay, I see what I need to do here. I need to... Armello? Oh, yeah, Armello. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that tracks. I was there. No! No, I'll die. Oh, shoot. We love stealth sections in a video game. How did you see me from over there? Can you, you can't sin unintentionally. Can you be good at unintentionally? I don't think you can be good unintentionally, but you can do good unintentionally. Okay, that area, that area is off limits. closest I've gotten is just trailing this, getting behind this guy. No, 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 no. That's okay. 
You can turn off mustard vision. How can you do good without being good? Doing something on accident. You know, if, let's say you trip and you accidentally push someone. Uh, but you, by doing so, push them out of the way of a moving vehicle. Well, you have done good. Or you have brought about good. But you never did good because you never intended it. Oh, hey, there's a checkpoint. I appreciate that. So probably wait while the cart's going past this guy. Oh, the gong was a red herring. You have unintentionally wound. Winds up being helpful. Hi, I poisoned the water supply. Yeah, it turns out that it really helped us find weaknesses in the water infrastructure and dangerous levels of lead in the pipes. Plus, the poison gives people a mild flu, but makes them immune to most diseases. Again, I, I don't I don't entirely... I, yes, you must be intentional in your good, but that doesn't mean that you can't do good accidentally. Just as you can do bad accidentally. Or really, again, the proper language is... Cr create good because you're not being good you're not right but bad accidentally is not a sin just as doing good accidentally is not virtuous I feel very stuck here. So the best I can do is I can come to these stairs. But if I try to trail this guy with the cart... Um... Okay, that was weird. He has x-ray vision. Um, the guy by the door will see me. Maybe I have to try the... Um Gong again. Maybe I just didn't get into its range. Nope. Cannot ring the gong. There's no way through. Oh. Ew. Ah. So you have to time that one. Probably not like I did. No, no, no. Everything's fine, guys. No, no, no. We're just. Just have a party. So I don't want to throw this too early because I want a cart to be going by so I can do a little two for one and get around.
Oh, there's good. No, you don't see me. There's a cart in your way. Okay, so whatever's in here, there is multiple of it. Ah! Weapons. Hello, I'm perfectly normal warrior. What? No, I had the disguise. Oh, it's either bracelets or shield. Bracers or shield. Okay. What? You were just... You know, initially I was suspicious that the known prowler we've been... We've caught several times just wandering around, but then I realized the cart was in the way. <laughs> Look, if you can't see me... Yeah, I need the right disguise, but what is the right disguise? Because it's either sword or no sword, helmet or no... Definitely going to need a helmet. Aha! A halberd, that's what we're looking for. Did not realize I could click on the halberds. Nope, they have swords. How about these guys? What do they have? They also have swords. Ah, you can click all the way over to there as well. Sometimes, I will say this game is not always obvious, like, what you can click on. And they're like, they were complaining because I didn't have a tall enough helmet. Now they're like, ah, yes, you are one of us. You can get weapon. Ah, good music. Must be a good guy. One of us. Oh, so this is where we were marching around in a circle. To uh, get into there in the first place. Hello, my fellow warrior. No, no, no. Do not be suspicious of me. Everything is fine. One of us. One of us. We're the little red cook. Warrior. Duty. That's what it is. It's duty. That's their high good. That is their god. And their duty is to carry the weapon. No! It's interesting that orthographically these languages don't have a uh, punctuation system. How's that for a linguistic sentence? That's a big sword. The impure ones await death. The warriors wait something plural chosen.
As sentences go, it certainly is one, yeah? Great weapon. Great. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean about great weapon kit. Mm. What does this word mean? Warrior, warrior's weight become, I'm guessing? Probably become. Gale's redeemed a father joke. You know, I bet the planets sing a lot. They probably listen to the Neptunes. Shout out to uh, the Goth family there. Uh, doing a little bee gum. Music of the Celestial Spheres, that ain't. Well, yeah. Oh, this way to Chosen. Chosen once, chosen once. I dropped? Oh. Well, Step Zero heard it. I don't know how, but they found me. Yeah, I, I like I don't know how, but they found me. They're based in Salt Lake, you know. The warrior carries a weapon. The warrior, not death. Um, lose, I suppose. The chosen carry. Ooh, instrument. There we go. No, it can't be kills. That's, that would be good, but the problem is that it's warrior not something death. So I'm thinking it has to be lose or suffer. Um, because it has the ne the negative in it. A banana, banana split without the ice cream because life is disappointment by Fallout Boy. <laughs> by, I don't know how they found me. <laughs> Panic the Disco spin-off. That's the Warriors wait to become the chosen. Oh, so I need a shield to get in there. Wouldn't a banana split without the ice cream just be a chocolate dipped banana? I mean I know there's always money in the banana stand, but still. We're getting another language. Or instructions on the book, yeah, at the very least. Come in. Hmm. What does the graffiti say? Don't uh something loves bot um So given the the connection of we see someone in here who's sleeping in the shadows, the sigil over their door, and the graffiti. Um, it's it's the bell ringer, bell toller. Would be my hazardous guess at this point. Okay, we need something. Oh, we need bottles. Oh, look at this. That's an interesting uh, musical notation system. Scales, boat, lyre key.
When will the boat drop? Uh, on the second note, apparently. Or third note. Oh, I made them mad. Don't ring the bells that way, kids. Okay, so we need some bottles. Wait, I know where some bottles are. We saw that. We saw multiple bottles earlier. Like throwing rocks at a hornet's nest. I mean, how was I supposed to know it was a hornet's nest? You can't just leave giant bells out in the open and expect me to do nothing. Bottles. Ah, it's a shortcut. Lizard. Yeah, there's lots of lizards in the warrior area. Unspotted lizard spotted. Well, I'm going to spot the unspotted lizard. And then spot him. No, it's okay. You can ignore me. Oh, I'm just getting a little something. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I should go vintage. It's fine. see if I can change my outfit into looking like the um the enlightened or the chosen hello fellow warrior warrior wait to become bell ringer waits for the bottle Oh, this is a new area. <gasps> An observatory? <laughs> so this is the same symbol that was by the sword. Maybe that means leader or prophet or something? Like, it means something important. Okay. So they have an understanding of heliocentrism. That's a good sign. Moom. Shiny. Oh, I can't just stick a bottle in there. That won't work. Okay, so it looks like I'm way I need a lens. Looks like I need a lens, and then I can see the stars. So I'll probably get some sort of secret sigil. Wait a minute. The warriors are Gnostic!
No, I want to. I want to leave. I want. I want to leave. I can't leave that way. Lay your weapon. Okay. But I was just a little slow. I wanted to catch up with those guys. And there's that leader symbol again. No! I... So, uh, where are we headed, guys? Where are we dropping? <laughs> Carry the big crate. Oh, this is a test. This is... <laughs> He's probably going to tell us to grab a bottle or something. So if we didn't have this verbiage... We would be attacked. Carry a little crate. Okay. March. No, it's May, not March. Hey, young Blake, how you doing? We are doing well. We're... We're verbing our way around the warriors. Oh, this is how I get into that warrior area, or that leader area. Light crate. I'm sorry, I was just like trying to stay in line with where I was. I'm a good warrior. I do my job. Warriors land become I I'm, I'm gonna stick with become for now because I think that still makes sense. They find the enlightened the warriors uh build. That's gotta be build. And the warriors do their duty to keep out, keep out the impure ones. Why do we build the tower, my children? gonna... Can warriors become chosen ones? I remember them chanting that earlier. I think so. And I think that's how we get to the next area. Is pretending to be a chosen one. But first we have to bring the bottle to the bell ringer. And we have to know the right um... Code. Which appears to be scale boat uh... Liar key. But there's... But there are five notes, so there's one missing. Okay, I need a torch. I 
Hey, look, a torch. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Look at that. The shadows line up pretty well. So there's something there that'll unlock that door. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll rotate it twice. Because that's probably rotating that center platform we saw earlier. Oh, look, another one of these terminals. Can I fast travel? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is fast travel. Okay, we don't have this other guy's language. We lost our helmet in doing so, so I hope we can get that back some way. The impure ones do not pass. Um, so what would be impure? Maybe devotee. That maybe that's who they think. Well, except ah, I don't want to quite back out that far because this has four spots, so. We need an adjective of some sort. Because what's impure? Death? Dead person? Not... Pass? Nope, that wasn't it. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking this. I am overthinking this. Because I need to say devotee because it, it's plural. Uh, so where was devotee? Devotee. Not build. Or make. Where was make? Make. Um, I don't know what that last word is. I don't have that symbol yet. That's unfortunate. So let's just go back to where we were. Oh good, it does respawn me. Back here with my disguise. Yeah, see, it rotated this. Ooh, look at that. So if we did that two more times... 
It's a shame you need both hands to do that. Because now if we do this, we should be able to put constellations on everything. Oh, so this is how we're going to figure out the code for the bells is we need to know the we're going to look in the in the um not spyglass telescope we're going to look in the telescope and we're going to figure out what's yeah look we're writing down what's what so we'll learn key. Very no instrument. We probably don't know the rest of these. So we'll come back to that, but that'll help. Oh, hello. So that's leader, home building, I think I have treasure chest yet. And I can't reuse crate. Oh, but there's a boat over there. Where does this lead? Oh, I was expecting it to go down, to be honest. Okay, we have to remember to take a sword with us. Or we just automatically do it. Casually walking in from the side there, just hanging out, doing his thing. There are no thoughts in that pretty little head, though. So I don't know how helpful he'll be at the puzzles. Oh, all sorts of words. Okay, so that... I got that backwards. Let's search. This is help. Because we know these are verbs because they have the diamond pattern. Help. Search. Nope. Not. Nope. Not that one. I guess correct. Actually, I saw a part of scientist. Okay. I actually saw a part of that sigil on the, um, on that. So that was not pure guessing. Okay. So we have four objects. Does it matter in the order that we do this? Let's go for this horn first.
One. Two. No, that's... You interacted with the wrong thing. This seems very poorly designed and extremely dangerous. Not quite sure what to do. Dangerous. It's okay. We don't, we don't supply health care. Yeah, the warriors don't have health care. They have ascension. What more do you need? Ascend. Become chosen. Become health care. Warrior's duty is becoming a chosen one. A warrior's duty is not OSHA. So enlightened ones had the spear and the uh, shield. So let's see how angry they get when I walk past them in that. For science. Nope, they're angry. But maybe it was a shorter helmet, too. Nope. They're not buying it. Okay, those shields are the same. this dude on the right doing? I guess speaking? So why don't we go back to the bell ringer now that we have his uh, his booze hall I do wonder if the developers made uh, any verbal version of these languages. Because, like, that guy just shouted something, but was that just noise? Or did they take the time and develop something that could be uh, verbally reproduced? Oh, 
Oh no, do I need to bring two? Because there's a second spot on the bench. And as soon as I'm gone... Oh, he drank it. Oh, he's up on the bell top. He's on top of it. Oh, ho! These are the instructions. So to make it night... Announcing that it's nighttime, essentially, or announcing duty, announcing that it's morning, or announcing something becoming... Uh, the, the Chosen Ones. You really don't think becomes is the word? Eh. I think it is. But it doesn't really matter, because I just have to get in the right picture spot. And I understand what I'm saying when I say that. Because like, I think there's a case to be made of languages talking about it has become day. You could say that in, in that language, but we might translate it as good morning, you know, something like that. So I just need to figure out what all of these symbols are. Which I know one of them. I would hazard that... I just did the Final Fantasy victory music for no reason. I just realized. <sighs> um, I'm seeing if these line up with the constellations at all. They kind of do, actually. Because that would be boat. That would be scales. And that would be key. So, to become... So... Balance, instrument, key, vessel, key. So, scales, instrument, key, vessel, key. Balance. How did they translate this? Bellman? Okay. He's up there just enjoying his his bottle. Um, it was scales, instruments. Ah, what was it, chat? No, oh, I've forgotten already. Balance, instrument, key, vessel, key. 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 Uh, I'm wondering if this is like announce. I still don't think I have the word for... I do have the word for treasure. Okay, everything I... I a call. Okay. The thing I was... So, call morning. I still think there's a case to be made that that could be understood as become. You know, I call someone to something. Um, so, what I was into, what I thought was leader is, in fact, treasure. But we got there. Ooh, cutscene. That's true. It worked in my mind and it got me to the right spot. A lot of hula balloon.
Oh, hello, they have all gathered. Now, is this my cue to run away? Or is this my cue to explore unfettered? Am I missing any... Okay, of the words I have, I have assigned them all. back to the observatory, but I don't have the lens or whatever it is I need yet. I'm not gonna lie, the warrior's area is very maze-like. Okay, that leads into that where I did the constellation stuff. That leads too far back. I'm trying to see if I can join that giant gathering that's going on. Because I clearly need something else to complete this area. Apparently not. I just went in one giant circle. There was nowhere else to go. So I guess I go opposite where all the warriors were headed. Feels a little... In I, I get that that's me kind of creating a distraction, but still... It feels like it would be more useful to make a distraction so I can blend into the crowd. Hey, I'm... hey Broads, good to see ya. This is the first time you're catching this game and all I have to say is get goes. I mean, that is an appropriate response. Oh, I just figured it out, of course, as soon as I'm here. Because now that all the Enlightened are gone, or all the Warriors are gone, the Enlightened are still here. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, I thought they were going to still be here, but be, like, guarding the door. So I was going to have to dress up like them. Well, oh, build. I don't have instrument, build, make, music. 
Fear, suffer. Hey, I was actually pretty close on that. Don't suffer death, don't fear death. I am doing well, Prods. Good to see you too. Hope you're doing well. We have completed the translation of the warrior's language. Quick, ascend! That is a cool elevator. Three corkscrews lifting a platform like that. That's pretty darn cool. Okay, new area. Those silly warriors couldn't get keep us. Oh no. Oh uh, no. It's got a constant line through it like Arabic or Thai or um There's another Southeast Asian language that does that. It, it'll that can really screw me up. Um Given that big curve appears in both of these, um, I'm thinking that this refers to like a person, and so like this one is warrior. This one's chosen. Um, and the double I thing, this is plural, multiple. Um, this is pass. Uh, this is stop. And what's interesting about it is that it actually appears twice if you look. Um, or no, it's not. It's not because it's... It appears twice. So you have not uh, plural warriors. What? I thought I... Oh, I must have misclicked. An... Wow, yours. Um, so yeah, so they kind of use it double. Apparently there is cut content for the first language that includes optician as a glyph. Wow, that is oddly specific. Also, we never actually got the, um, the lens to go and put into the thing. So I'm thinking that's a puzzle we haven't solved yet. We probably need to do that. But anyway, I, it looks like it's not the warrior's past not. Um, meaning, like, they, they are extra emphatic on the negatives in this language. Wow, they are just, like, really throwing you in there. Not. Uh, warrior. They're just like, yep. Whoa, okay, I did not get it right. But I did. Um, oh, unless the uh, oh, yep, this is the plural. That's the verb. There we go. The plural comes after, like, uh, an S. So that's actually good to know, because, like, in the warrior's language, the plural goes first, uh, and the base, and the, uh, the, the pilgrim's language is, or devotee language is person-person. So we've, we're becoming, I feel like the languages are becoming more sophisticated, but I was pretty darn close on my first guess.
Hey, Catholic Brit. Good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. I am suspicious of this water. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, look at their wonderful breezy outfits and masks. I'm sure they'll accept me right away. Hello. Oh. Something. Huh. Oh. Uh, not a warrior. Probably something about weapons, helmets. Because the one in the sun mask. But at least these people, you know, don't like yell at me and hit me with a sword as soon as I show up. I like the warriors. Time for the section that looks like Bosch's Garden of Earthly Delights. I mean, you're not wrong. Doing all right, busy day at work. As always, but went to mass this morning. Preset time for confession. Nice. <gasps> There's a monkey. Oh, the monkey wants something before it'll it'll do the organ grinding. How many monkeys do these people have? They live a life of decadence. Of course there are monkeys. Yeah. Fair enough. Why is that always like the thing of decadence? Like, mm, we're going to have a monkey. Look, a server. A servant class person. See how drab they are and how minimalist their mask is. It looks like a pepper. Now that is the sign of decadence. Yeah, like, why is it like... Yep, I got a monkey. Uh, so the warriors fight. And the warriors get dazed and confused. Oh, you meant the drab servant garb is the sign of decadence. You need the contrast. Yes. Oh. Wait for this, this server to come. Yes, hello. I'm fellow server. Here, here to join you. You can tell by my drab outfit. I was wondering when we were find gonna find one of these. So a warrior translating with hmm, someone we don't have yet. But we can finish translating this one. We have all the, the words. I want to see what happens when you do translate one. Uh, the impure do not create music. So, devotee, don't devotee, not... Make music. <gasps> Devotees create music? Uh... 
the impure. Where's make? Make music. Warriors love music. So where's warrior? Warrior, warrior, like music. Oh, look at that! We were we were building bridges. Something has changed in the tower. Okay. I don't know what's changed in the tower, but something has. Hmm. Puzzle. No, I just want to... No! Okay, one of the weird things is you have to hold down the A button while you're moving these. <gasps> it's a letter of agreement! I saw you and you found me. Okay, so what's really interesting here is I saw you, you saw you found me, you saw me. The verb here is at the end. So this is following a uh, noun object verb order, whereas English is noun, verb, object. So that's important to note. Um, so the J-H thing is you. The J-Y looking thing is I, me. Um... This is search, look, find, look, sought, and then what's this one? E. And yeah, I know I can do this, but I always forget that that's a thing. I both know and I forget. Don't at me. Okay, this is interesting now, too, that it's giving us um, the, the glyphs of the other languages rather than... What? Unless... Is it these that are backwards? Okay, so it's not even... Noun, object, verb. It's, it's object, noun, uh, verb. Because look, you, I sought. Me, you found. That's really fascinating. I don't know a language off the top of my head that does that, but I'm also not going to be surprised if there is one. Oh, craftsman. OSV, nice. OSV, mildly confusing. That's the tricky thing about like ent etymology is just like having to relearn the interaction of, of different uh Uh, like verb and comment, like 
sentence structures and like the way things you think Japanese is like that. Okay, I could again, I, I don't know every language, so I just didn't know it off the top of my head. I thoroughly recommend this game. I, A, I think linguistics is awesome. Uh, I good, I enjoy a good etymology. Um, I, I've studied many a language. Um, the game is beautiful vis visually. It's really well done. Acoustically, it's amazing as well. Great music and great sound design. So I'm thinking, this. what if this isn't Craftsman, but is music? And then I need play, comedy, and tragedy. Hey, Lizzie, good to see ya. Uh, in some contexts, ASL uses object, subject, verb. Okay, good to know. I don't remember. OSV is relatively rare, most prominent being Tobati and Warao. Uh, I don't even know what those are or where they are. So, hey Liz, that's all good. Just good to see your name in chat. Uh, I'm going to mark this down for now as water. Oh, we're getting some didgeridoos. Gazebo. Okay, maybe not gaz maybe not water because it's on the gazebo, but Something, something me, you see quad. I don't know what you're saying, but um, I'll take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. There is water flow. Oh, I see it. She dropped her, her crown thingy in the water. OSD is mainly Amazonian languages. Oh, cool. Okay, you're repairing this. Not something me, something not. I'm not done repairing. Something you see. Hmm. That dot keeps that that semicolon symbol keeps showing up. Oh yeah, look out now! Locked doors. Never heard of them. Oh no, we can only carry one tool at a time. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Ooh. Uh. So. Hammer? And wrench. This is why you need pockets in your strange robe. I know. Okay, now I'll, whatever the symbol is for saw. Well, let's see what this guy wants. Maybe he'll tell me. Oh, I need this tool. Oh, hey, he wants a hammer. Maybe the colon is like, please. Ew. 
Go, you can. Since I translated for the warriors and the pilgrims, maybe they can come and go now? But that weird terminal meant that something changed? Maybe. So there's two terminals per floor, it seems. And I... There are multiple uh, translations to be done across the different casts. So this N, I'm thinking is like passage or, or road. Is that a windmill cable car across the river? It's a windmill um, helicopter boat cable car across road bill. No, I don't just need road. So road to, I, I've said water, but I don't think it is the water. But that's just its placeholder for now. Oh, good. The the serving class is... Is, uh... Working the fan. We love to see that. Oh, did I say love to see that? I meant hate. I don't remember those things being about those in the Bronze Age of Mesopotamia to say. See, that's the that was the problem of the fall of the Tower of Babel, is that we lost a lot of the history. Uh, because we don't know what any of it was. It turns out it was uh it was built by aliens. I have no idea where I am. These underroads are a convoluted mess. Aliens like gold? I don't know who that is. Instead of lizards, we have rats now. I didn't even see any rats. Oh, there it is. Right in front. Perhaps not all is well in paradise. Oh no, I'm trapped. Help, I just wanted to study a language. I didn't want to get stuck in a sewer system. Stargate. Oh, okay. I've never never watched Stargate. Every RPG needs a sewer level. This isn't even an RPG. Uh Hello, giant purple door. No, oh, there's a key shape of some sort. Men of the Abbey are free. Men. Okay. Uh, this is people or person, person more accurately, but. Um. So maybe this this shape is to be. Because then this would read free the people. Um
I get, no, actually this K should be Abby, I think. Uh, and then... The D is... Free. Because then that reads, Abbey people, plural, so the Abbey persons, the people of the Abbey, free, they are. Oh, well. Uh, fortress. Did I miss something here? Is there a fortress mentioned? Oh, people. That's the warrior symbol. So... Okay, so I was wrong. So... That's free. That's Abby. Okay. So it was... Uh... Free people, uh, people plural, peoples, persons, Abby, to be. Okay. Wow. This is a weird language. This is a weird one to wrap my head around, I'm not going to lie. But I think having done that, it is a great place to call it for the day. So thank you so much for tuning in to uh, Let Us Play. I've been your host, Father Evan. Uh, join us again uh, this Saturday, uh, Saturday at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to about 3-ish Eastern Standard Time. Going to do a little SNES Chaos Roulette, uh, just kind of a celebration for getting to 200 followers. Thank you to everyone who followed the channel and shared it. Um, so we're just going to be playing some SNES games for a bit, having a good time, having some good chuckles. Sick of the Hizuos, it is almost upon you, Ray Heard. Your great fast is almost over. Um yeah, and then next week, no streams. I'm away on vacation. Uh, looking forward to that. It'll be nice. But then when we come back, uh, we'll have uh, on the... What will that be? The 13th, the 13th of May, we'll have more KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic. Tuesday, uh, we're going to be starting MTG Chandelar and uh, continuing this on Spirituality Thursday. Uh, so we're hopefully going to be beating that soon. So thank you to everyone who's liked, followed, subscribed, all that good jazz. Um Excuse me. And I hope you have a great weekend and a great week since I won't be seeing you. Uh, I'm going to send you on over to P. Tony uh, for the raid. Um, so send him your love. Um, thank you to everyone who's joined the Discord. Shout out to you, YouTube, everyone who's subscribed over to there. Uh, and I hope everyone has a great rest of their week. Take care and God bless.